Hey, what's up, guys? This is Derek from Sacramento, California. And, uh, I, I want to run for president. But I'm not quite sure how. Um, I'm going to post this on my, uh, vlog on, uh, tw on Twitter. And I was wondering if y'all could just, uh, you know, help give me the requirements for the, uh, uh, to run for president because I really don't know and I think that I have a lot of really good ideas for this country um, first off no taxes um, second off I'm gonna have my best friend Alfred from New Jersey be my um, vice president yeah <laughs> yeah Alfred he's gonna be awesome um, he's 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 a cool dude from Russia um, he's got a lot of crazy ideas, but I think that they could help his country uh, a lot. Um, there's just a lot of different things that I disagree with that several presidents before have done. Um, except for Reagan, he was pretty cool. But other than him, no, I, I think a lot of our presidents really screwed up this country. But who, whose fault is it? It's our fault. Because we voted for him. <laughs> but, uh,. No, I would uh, like to see Alfred do a lot for this country. Um, is it true that the vice president, you know, since he has two names, the vice president, isn't that like, I'm just the president, he's the vice president. I mean, vice president sounds a lot cooler than president. The vice president of the United States. I mean, isn't that, I'm pretty sure that that's ahead of the president. And I would just, you know, be his running mate or whatever, you know, the guy that runs with him. Why do they say running? Huh. Doesn't make sense to me. Why would they say running? Because we're not really running. I mean, well, sort of. We go from state to state, state to city, country to country. You know, asking people to vote for us. Um, but we don't actually do any running. We just um, we just go on planes and buses and cars, pretty much, and just do whatever there. Um, and we do a lot of talking. I mean, I've seen the debates. Um, whenever Bush ran I was like 10 years old or something like that but uh, I really think I could help this country um, I'm 22 fresh out of college yes yeah, so it's stuck in my mind still I'm not like a 40 year old dude or something like that I don't think that has any uh, um, importance um, yeah, a little bit about me um, my favorite book as a child was Hatchet by Gary Paulson this book will blow your mind, alright? I mean, this kid is just out of nowhere. It's the best underdog story ever. A little 13-year-old boy gets lost in the Canadian wilderness. Oh, and that's another thing. If I were president uh, and Alfred was vice president, we would try to take over Canada because of what this book means. You know, America, everywhere you look, I mean, you can't go anywhere without seeing a huge city. I mean... Uh, there is no rural places anymore. There's no more forests. I mean, it's all city, so it's all, you know, beautiful. It's all taken care of. Uh, there's not a single bit of land that is uncovered. But here in Canada, I mean, it's terrible because they have, like, all these, uh, all these wildernesses. People probably have died there. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is based off a true story. I mean, where else would you get facts like this? And I'm pretty sure it's about Gary Paulson as a child. But, um, yeah, I would, I think I could do great. Um, I'm about to go over four minutes. So just hit me up on Twit. Tweet me, tweet me. Tweet, 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 tweet. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Rock.